Hello everybody, here's a very quick tutorial on how to use the bevel modifier to have glowing edges. I have a switch, which is very simple, just a few vertices. And the switch has two materials, a black one and a blue one. And I'll add the bevel modifier, which you can find here. Let's activate it, and then it looks like that, so the edges are a lot nicer, they are smoother. And it's very simple to have those edges glowing. All I have to do is change the material from minus one to zero. Now it's the black material because this is material number zero. If I switch it to one, it's glowing because this one is my glowing material, my emission material. Now there's a little bit too much glowing going on. I don't want this part to be glowing. That's also very simple if I turn on the angle. Now everything below 30 degrees doesn't get affected by the modifier anymore. So even if I switch the material back to zero, you can see that those parts are not affected by the modifier, which is exactly what I need here. Maybe I want this part to be glowing, just that part not. So I've switched the angle back to yeah, something below 18 degrees and now this is glowing again. So if I look at the rendered result, I can decide which one I like better. Maybe the edges are a little too big. So if I switch this to, let's say, in my case, 0.2 millimeters, it looks a little nicer. Now this works with every kind of mesh you got. It even works with Susanna. So if I take my monkey head, and also have a bevel modifier and also have two materials black one and mission one and now let's change the material to my glowing material and it has the wireframe which of course there are other methods to do this but I think this is a very nice and easy one you can even turn on the subsurface modifier now it, I think it really looks cool you can also change the angle if you say there are too many so let's turn it to 20 or to 10, whichever one you prefer or what you want to do. And that's all. Have fun.